We are about to begin our, our open house meeting here today, and we thank you for everyone for making it to the meeting, and we greatly appreciate everyone for your participation. And first of all, I'll be serving as the presiding minister today, and our, we are now going to have Pastor Oi to read a scriptural verse. At the same time, she's going to pray for opening. Afterwards, we're going to sing our hymn. The skip tag is the uh, Gospel of Matthew, chapter 28, verse, says 20, verses 19 to 20. Therefore, go to and make disciples all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and in the name of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always. Let's pray. Our gracious Heavenly Father, thank you so much for your being with us, our life, and thank you for the blessing you have given to us. Father Lord, Father, please forgive us our shortcoming and our sins and bless our life for your glory. Father Lord, we give thanks to you for this special program, for celebrating all these opening the Bible's Bible School. Father, be with us throughout our worship service and bless us this program. Father, we give thanks to you for everything and make us for your glory and for your kingdom. I commit all of our life and our remaining chance into your mighty hand. In Jesus' name. Share with us, you share with us regarding the inception of Burby's Bible score and the operation as a whole is going to be, um, share with us. And let's welcome uh, Dr. Tuang. Hello, my name is Mapia Kiani Bima, Adam Bima, from the Jamia Association. First of all, I would like to thank the Lord for having this kind of new beginning here in Washington, D.C. area. And I'm so thankful for uh, the hosting church, Pastor Rick, and hosting our church, USC and Baptist Church, and people here in the metro capital area. And I would like to share with you a little bit about why Burmese Bible School started and the reason for existing and uh, what we are now. So I would, would like to talk that uh, Burmese Bible School started back in 2008. Uh, it's about more than three years now. And I was asked to help the Burmese Bible School to, to help train our chip planner and leadership development. I will also include a little bit of premise to, to in favor of everybody. ทาวน์ชื่อมาซาติน่ะขึ้นไปเนี่ยทาวน์ชื่อเกี่ยวกับเนี่ยซาติน่ะเจ้าเนี่ยฮะตัวเสียงเนาะเจ้าดีไทย
reason for coming up with this kind of program here in North America is that we have very few Christian population in Burma. And most of the people migrated here or become a refugees here are having this kind of background back in Burma. So that is the main reason why we come up with uh, this program to reach out our own people here. That is one thing. And another thing is why don't we uh, consider our people back in Burma? How can we make connection? The Christianity here and in Burma. How can we have each other and reaching out to the non the non Christian? Uh between Davis College and, and Burmese Bible School. Uh, it's been uh, a, a great experience for me to get to know uh, Dr. Thoma and uh, be able to work with him in, in both Buffalo and Syracuse and now looking forward to working here. Uh, if I may, I'd like to just spend a few minutes and give you a little bit of the history of Davis College and what our purpose is and what our mission is. Uh, 
Davis College started in 1900 as practical Bible training school. So it's the second oldest Bible school in all of the United States. The American our original purpose was to train pastors and evangelists, and we've done that for many, many years now. And, and our purpose has been and still continues to be to train people for ministry. But the world has changed a lot since 1900, and so has ministry. So as the years went on, the school had to change from a three-year Bible institute into a four-year degree-granting college institution. As we did that, the name changed from Practical Bible Training School to Practical Bible College. Practical Bible School and and then in 2004, we received regional accreditation, which is a very important uh, uh, designation to show that the school is um, a great academic institution. And at that point, we changed the name from Practical Bible College to Davis College to honor our founder, John A. Davis. So now today, we not only train pastors and evangelists, but we also train uh, English teachers, teaching English as a second language. We train youth pastors. We train uh, students for organizational leadership and other programs. Last year, we had an opportunity to begin to explore the possibility of cooperating together between Burmese Bible School and Davis College. And from the very beginning, I could tell there was a great connection and that we very much had the same purpose and mission in what we were trying to accomplish. So now what we've been able to do both in Syracuse and Buffalo is, is for students that have high school diploma we are able to offer them accredited college credit for what they're doing at the Burmese Bible School. It's our plan to be able to do that here in the fall, this coming fall. And in the meantime, if there is some, if there are some that can take online course in English, we could do that immediately for it. So the two English and I met Nigel Lee to the online course to the CA and to Lucy Matay. Yeah, and in teaching signing and Matan Tom Matay. So again, it's my privilege to be with you. I look forward to being with you for a, a, a few hours here the, today, and I would love to answer any questions you might have. So the net machine man, Mr. Association. Orientation,
Please welcome them. My heart is really with the people of East Asia. I, I travel there every every year now. I've been uh, this year will be my ninth time. I'll be going to China, uh, so I go every year to to teach at at, this, at the uh, the churches there, uh, house churches. So to now, once again, if anything I can do for you, please let me know. We'll do what we can uh, to, to be the host. Uh, as the school progresses, hopefully more people will be involved. And also, those people will, in turn, start new churches. Okay. Let's pray together. Father God, we thank you for who you are. We thank you for this opportunity for these students to come and to learn the Word of God, that they might be able to share it with their own people in their own language, something that I cannot do. And we pray, Father, for the leaders. We pray for each one that you would use them in a mighty way. We pray for the new students, Lord, that you would give them the time and the energy and the intelligence to do the work that's necessary, that they might grow in faith and in knowledge and in wisdom. Father, we ask your blessings, Lord, on their families as they spend time studying. And some of their time will be used uh, to study and not to be with family and not to work even. That you would continue to provide for them, for their needs, and for their families. As they take this big step to follow you, to get their education, to be able to continue to serve you in this way. Father, we ask now your blessings for the rest of this service. May you continue to use it and use us to your glory. In Christ Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, Pastor Reverend Reek, for the prayer and for the word of encouragement. Now we want to have her, uh, we want to invite another, our fantastic 
group uh, that will present to us our wonderful song. Uh, let's welcome our U.S. Baptist, ASEAN Baptist Church. Well, I have the honor of uh, speaking to you and telling you some godly, God-ordained reasons why you need the classes that the Burmese Bible School will offer and how they will help you to win people to faith in Christ, to make disciples.